Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a quick little video about 5 tips that will instantly improve your gameplay. Part 2. With this video you don't need to practice the tips, you just have to remember them. They're pretty simple and they will make a big impact on your league game. Before I get into the video, I'd like to give a big thanks to Commando. He helped me shoot some of the footage for this video and he also helped me brainstorm some of the ideas for this video, so thanks for that Commando. Tip number one is timestamps. Now, I've been playing League for three or four years now, and during that time I didn't know what timestamps were up till two weeks ago when Commando told me. And it is a tip that will instantly improve your gameplay, and I'll show you how it's done. So you should press escape, then go to interface, scroll the way down, and click on show timestamps. As you can see, I just pinged Zed's flash, which is coming up a minute and eight seconds. Flash comes up every five minutes, so you'll know that Zed's flash is up in six minutes and eight seconds, and in the meantime you can make a play knowing that Zed doesn't have flash, and I'll show you some footage of how effective it can be. As you can see in that clip, Zed flashed away from me. I probably pinged his flash 5 seconds a bit too late, so if you add 5, his flash will be up in 8 minutes and 40 seconds. So in the next clip, you can see that I took advantage of him not having flash, and you'll see what happens. As you can see in that clip, I went in because he didn't have flash, and I was also a level above him, which is another reason I should go in. And at the end of the clip, he I could have flashed to him to get the extra auto in to kill him faster, but I didn't need to because I knew his flash wasn't up. Tip number two, you can use websites to get an advantage on the enemy before even entering the game. You can look at the enemy's KD, how many minions they kill, how aggressive they are in lane, you can look at all sorts of stuff. As you can see I'm versing a Fizz in the mid lane, so I want to look at his stats and see how he's been playing lately, if he's been tilted or what his recent matches have been. So I can search his name in op.gg, as you can see there, there's all of his stats and that website works great. There's also a, uh, another website called poroprofessor.gg. Essentially, the websites are both the same, it's just personal preference, which one you like more. Personally, I prefer op.gg, but poroprofessor is actually really good as well. By the way, this isn't sponsored, I wish it was, so. The links to both of these websites will be in the description, so if you want to check them out, feel free. Tip number three, which is kiting, and we all know how important kiting is in League, especially playing ADC. Now I've been playing League for three to four years, as I mentioned before, and only about a year ago I realised this was a thing. I watched a video, I'm like, damn, okay. And then I realised all the pros are using this as well, so... Yeah, it's a bit of a cheat for League. So what you want to do is click Escape, go to Hotkeys, and then scroll down to Player Movement. And then you want to set a hotkey for player attack move click. My hotkey is set on A, so pretty much you hover your cursor over them and then click A and it'll attack them. But that's only with minions around. When you're in the Baron Pit, you don't even have to hover your cursor over them, you just click A, autos them, and then you click the direction you want to walk. A, click the direction you want to walk, etc, etc and it essentially kites for you. You know those times where you've accidentally clicked past the player, moved towards them, ended up dying because it's your fault? Don't worry, the league can actually do it for you. It's a cheat for league and it's fantastic. You also want to click escape, go to game, scroll the way down and click attack move on cursor. Now this next clip you're about to see is me using the automatic kiting thing and you can see how effective it is. Thank you. 
The next clip is me not using the automatic kiter, so you can see I misclick on purpose to show that you can accidentally misclick, move forward, he ends up killing you, especially Aatrox because it's melee, and it can all be ruined because you accidentally mis misclicked, but with the kiting, uh, with the automatic kiter, you can't really mess it up, all you have to do is press A and it kites for you, so you can see the difference, compare the pros and cons, tell me what you think in the comments section. Tip number four, which is quick cast. What quick cast does is it doesn't outline your ability, it casts your ability instantly, hence the name quick cast. Now the thing about quick cast is it can save you milliseconds to half a second to potentially get you the kill instead of not getting the kill if you're not using quick cast. The thing about quick cast is you need to know your champion. It's because if you don't know your champion's abilities, it won't show you the outline of your ability and you'll potentially just miss all your abilities, which won't get you any kills. But it is an instant improvement in your gameplay because it can save you seconds if you know your champion. As you can see in the replay screen, the without quick cast, you can see my Q outline. Just because I used my Q outline without quick cast, that means my combo is taking milliseconds longer, which doesn't allow me to get the kill because Lux has time to react with her barrier. But the with quick cast screen, you can't see my Q outline, and that lets me kill Lux without her reacting. So just a few milliseconds can determine whether you get the kill or not. Say, so I I got the kill with with quick cast and then I roamed to other lanes and I won the game essentially because of that. So you, it's either really make or break with or without quick cast. So you should definitely turn on with quick cast. Tip number five, have the right runes and build. So this tip's really important because there's been a few games where I have forgotten my runes and I go resolve on Diana. I int go 0 and 20. So yeah, that's not a fun game. Just forgetting to use your runes before a game can, uh, can really be stressful because you might just lose because of that. Not only the runes, the build. The build's really important as well. Say if there are four people on their team is AP and one's AD, you're going to build magic resist. So yeah, the build's also important. I use this program, um, it's called Overwolf. Pretty much you click it and it resets your runes and build to whoever you're playing so you have the right runes and build in one click so it's really helpful i'll list it down in the comment section below once again this isn't sponsored i wish it was but anyway if you've enjoyed this video i'd appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe if not that's cool i mean i'm only doing this to practice my editing and help you guys out so yeah i'll see you in the next video bye Oh wait, you're still watching? Yeah, well, because you made it to the end, I'll throw in an extra tip. Warming up. Make sure you always warm up with an ARAM game. That's what ARAM's for. It's really good, and ARAMs only go for around 15 minutes. Trust me, warming up definitely improves your gameplay and will potentially win you the game. So, um, make sure you warm up, and thanks for watching. Bye.